If you lived in Billings from 2015 to 2018, you might have some money headed your way. The city recently agreed to pay $3.6 million to settle a lawsuit centered around fees it charged its residents during that time for water, trash, and sewer services. It's a case that dates back decades and one that led to a class action lawsuit. Back in 2018, a group of Billings residents joined together to sue the city after being charged what the city called franchise fees for water, sewer, and trash service. Charges they alleged were illegal. A number of citizens protested these sales taxes. They called them what they were. They were sales taxes. Matthew Monforton represents those residents and claims the city collected nearly $2.5 million each year from those fees from 1992 to 2018. And in 2022, a judge agreed that the franchise fees were indeed illegal. It was really a shell game that the city of Billings has been running for years. And those kind of sales taxes are illegal under Montana law. MTN reached out to the city for this story, but our requests for comment were denied. We do know the city had argued it had the right to charge for the use of a public right-of-way, something municipalities can do for utility providers. But unlike a provider like Northwestern Energy, the city already owned the right-of-way. Under state law, it could not, in essence, tax itself and then impose those taxes on city residents, which is what the city had been doing for, for years. The $3.6 million settlement needs to be approved by city council, but will come out of the city's general fund. Around 25% of that, or $900,000, will be a settlement fee for the attorneys, with the rest paid out to residents as a rebate. We would have liked to have gotten all of the sales taxes that had been collected for the past 25 years, but the statute of limitations limited us to going back only to February of 2015. In Billings, Phil Van Pelt, MTN News.